I'm going to walk you through how to put in your master password in sync high level with Brevo. So here we are logged into Brevo. You go and you create an account. If you want to choose the free plan, that might be ideal if you're only sending a thousand or so emails a month. But if you're sending a lot, you're going to want to go ahead and get the full plan. I think it's 23 to $24 per month. Don't quote me exactly because it may have changed depending on when this video is, but you can sign up with the link that you've gotten. And then when you log in, you're going to go here at the home page. This is where you're going to log and land in. So what you want to do is click on the top right corner and go to SMTP and API. And here you're going to get all of the information that you need. Now this is your master password. The password is that, that, they, that you use to sync with high level is not the password that you use to log into Brevo. It's your master password that you get by clicking on the I button and you'll see that there. So you want to copy the SMTP server. You want to get the master password and copy all this information over into your high level account. Let me show you where that, that is all at. So we're going to go, after we log in, we're going to go to settings here at the bottom. Then we're going to go to email services. And here we're going to add a service. You're going to click other and you're going to say that it's Brevo. And this is just really for your notes. So you're going to go here and you're going to copy the SMTP right there. And then you're going to use the 587 port number that it gave you. Now your username is actually your login and your email name. So you're going to copy that. You're going to go here and you're also going to put that here and then you're going to get the master password. Not the password that you use to log in, but when you hover over here, you click that, you're going to get that password and add that here when you click save. If all of this information is correct, if it's the email that you actually use and it's all just showing up right here, super, super easy when you go to SMTP and API, copy all this information over here as it asks for it, click save and everything will be synced up and you're going to be ready to go. That is it. Very, very simple. Now, the other thing to keep in mind after you get this set up is there's a new compliance. It's mostly from Gmail and Yahoo that if you don't do the compliance, you're not going to get emails delivered to Gmail and Yahoo addresses. So I highly recommend that you do that. I'll put this link with the video as well, but go ahead and make sure that you read over this and it's going to be some settings that you're going to need to put in with your hosting company or your domain company. For a limited amount of time, actually, Brevo is going to give you an email address that you can kind of use along with it. I don't know how long that's going to last and ideally you want to do this anyway for your company, right? It's a solid thing that you want to do for your company to get emails delivered. That's as simple as, as, it, as it is to hook it up. Um, if you need help, if you got questions and you're a coaching club member, ask me about this, but it's mostly going to be your hosting company, or your domain provider that's going to need to hook this up for you. It's just a couple of settings that you're going to need to get put and I'll go ahead and put this into the email. And again, you're going to go to settings here at the bottom, email services, punch in all the information and then your master password. Master password is super important. That's it.